and said was, we'll be running through the res. Well, this is definitely the res, and this has got to be a known spot. He told me to be right with Brian. Baker and I decided we want to make a good show. We want to blend in with these guys. You know, you and Brian ride well. He says, you guys, you guys be in the middle. You are with him. Somebody's got to push these guys. I'm talking to Paul. Paul, you're going to be doing 90. And Paul said to me, he goes, why would I be doing 90? I go, because Paul, I'm behind you and I'm going to be doing 90. Yeah, baby. You know what? They were coming fast and hard. It didn't look like they were going to stop. That's when the angels thundered by. up on the road to the Florence prison run. I better ride well is the feeling I have the first time I rode with the Hell's Angels. I passed the first test, but while gassing up for the next run, the Angels raised a question. Yeah, that was hot, man. Woo! That was a good ride, real good ride. Good job, right. brother. So, were you surprised we could keep up? Well, you're still standing up. <laughs> it's, just, it's just to be seen if you'll be able to keep up. I felt like we had earned a stripe there, or at least just a little bit of respect in their eyes. Can we respectfully say? I think riding with the Hells Angels, it took us to the next level. Fender to fender and elbow to elbow, and I, I, I think I could say I was pretty proud of the guys. We were pushing it pretty hard. I don't know about the rest of the guys, but Devil's Canyon rocked. It was insanely dangerous. And I know now that we're within 30 miles or so of the prison run, the day's back on. I'm excited. This is great. is an annual event hosted by the Hells Angels. There are various locations set up around the state where you get to ride with us. We will lead packs of bikes to the prison run. Five years ago, the city of Florence had made a decision to vote, making an historic event. I remember when it was just the club and 10 or 15 guests. That's the only people that would show up because, I mean, the law was out there. And if they saw you on a bike anywhere in the vicinity, from Phoenix to Florence, you were getting pulled over. But now it's like huge packs of bikes showing up and, and the cops having to fucking be polite and nice. You know, so even the cops are starting to make loose with it, you know? Make it more of an enjoyable event. Thousands of people show up for the event every year. There's a public event, it's open to all riders. guys, uh, Dirty Dozen Motorcycle Club. They actually used to go there on New Year's Eve. Before they would go to their party, they'd run by the prison and kind of buzz the prison to uh, 
let some of the guys they knew inside knew, knew that there were still uh, people thinking about them, supporting them, and also giving them something to look forward to. You know, this was something we were doing for our brothers, and it was something that was needed. Then I went into prison, and I got the, the other side of it. But man, that day that the prison run was on, shoo, the whole fucking place was alive, man. It was like, yeah! It was a big day for everybody there. We would go up like 20 feet from the fence, and you could stand there and watch the bikes and see the bikes going by. And, I mean, it was like 10 feet deep of people sitting there watching. I mean, when your brothers show up at that prison run and you're in prison, you wouldn't even leave with prison. Because, I mean, for that day, you're king for a day. Everybody in the prison is coming up like wanting to be your pal. It's fucking pretty cool. We really do appreciate the, the backing of the city and, and the chief of police and their support because we probably couldn't do it without it. You know, when you have a pack of bikes that's uh, nearly a mile and a half long, it uh, pretty much speaks for itself as far as the support goes. Now it's uh, enjoyable. I liked it better when we were hated and well hated. That canyon ride this morning was bad. I, yeah, that was all up, I enjoyed man. the drop banana girl. Yeah. Yeah. If I was in jail, how cool would that be to see all your brothers all in the Looks like they let everybody, sure. everybody out of their cells too, to, to check it out. On the line, we were on a four day journey. We had no plan. We saw a lot of beautiful country, and we happened to come across a red and white support run poster. I'd say it's a pretty good destiny. This is a great place, great place to be. It's a different ride. A lot of snow, a lot of mountains, a little rain this morning. What's next? Hey! What's next? Yeah, what's it next? ain't it ain't where a man lives. It's what he does when he leaves the house. Yeah, <laughs> and what do we do? We resume speed. Yeah. 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 Out. All right, guys. Let's get up the road a bit away from all these cops and figure our route to Tombstone. It's still 300 miles from here.